How to prevent acid reflux. Acid reflux occurs when your stomach passes acid back up into your esophagus and throat, sometimes causing inflammation of your esophagus. The problem occurs when the lower esophageal sphincter less at the entrance of the stomach inappropriately relaxes. Doctors estimate that 10 to 20% of US suffers from acid reflux and 65% of adults experience heartburn at some point. One, heartburn is the most common symptom of acid reflux. Other symptoms include chest pain, regurgitation of food, hoarseness, and coughing. Long-term acid reflux can cause injury to your esophagus and can contribute to adenocarcinoma, a form of cancer. Many factors make acid reflux more likely, such as obesity, alcohol, smoking, and caffeine use. Two, the good news is there are many things you can do to reduce and prevent acid reflux. Modifying your diet. Avoid fatty foods. Fatty foods are hard for your body to digest, which means that they stay in the stomach for longer. When foods slow down your digestive system, they are more likely to come back up your esophagus as reflux increases. Avoid foods such as full-fat dairy products like butter, regular cheese, sour cream, and whole milk. Animal fat like lard or bacon fat. Fried foods like French fries, onion rings, and fried chicken. High-fat snacks that don't have much nutritional value like potato chips, candy, or ice cream. Avoid acidic foods. Acid reflux can be brought on by acidic foods. Citrus fruits are some of the most acidic foods. That doesn't mean you should cut them out of your diet entirely, but you should monitor how often you eat foods like tomatoes, salsa, tomato sauce, oranges, grapefruits, pineapples, lemons, and limes. Additionally, vinegar is an acidic condiment used in seasonings and can exacerbate acid reflux. Reduce your chocolate intake. If you are concerned about acid reflux, you may want to reduce the amount of chocolate you eat. Chocolate contains an ingredient called methylxanthine, which will relax the muscles in your esophagus. When the bottom of your esophagus stays open, there is a significant chance that food from your stomach could come back up. Cut back on garlic and onions. Garlic can give you an upset stomach and make you bloat. Both of these things can then lead to reflux. Many people with acid reflux have also found that their symptoms get worse when they eat raw onions. Stay away from spicy foods. Researchers debate whether spicy foods actually cause acid reflux. Regardless, many people find that spicy food upset their stomachs. Examples of spicy foods include jalapenos, banana peppers, and hot sauce, Tabasco, sriracha, etc. If you are prone to acid reflux, you will want to keep your stomach as happy as possible. This means avoiding foods, like spicy meals, that upset it. 9. Drink fewer carbonated beverages. Carbonated drinks are filled with bubbles. They might look nice in the can or bottle, but it's important to remember that those bubbles will keep on fizzing in your stomach. The carbonation can make pressure build up inside your stomach. This can push the contents of the stomach back up your esophagus, causing reflux. 10. Eat smaller meals. When you limit yourself to small portions, your stomach has an easier time digesting what you put into it. A stomach that doesn't have a lot of pressure put on it to digest quickly is much less likely to push food back up your esophagus. If you get hungry when you make your portions smaller, consider eating six small meals a day rather than three larger meals. Aim for each small meal to contain roughly 300 to 400 calories. 11. Eat low-acid foods. A good way to reduce acid reflux is to eat small meals made up of low-acid foods. Acid you eat will add to the acidity of your stomach. Some good examples of low-acid foods are leafy greens, melons, bananas, oatmeal, tofu, fennel, parsley, rice, 